All right, all right. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, sis of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. You know, um, um, I, I've, as you can tell, I've received a lot of uh, email communications uh, as well as phone calls, um, and, and, and a lot of people are, are wondering, you know, pretty much what in the world is going on. But um, I think what I've got going on right now is, um, you know, m most of people have heard uh, my position based on who I believe or what I believe what color Christ was. And you wouldn't believe the falling out that's taken place or that's simply because I state my opinion, my personal belief on what color Christ was. Uh, you'll think that people would be a little bit more intelligent uh, than what they've displayed in the hour that we're living in today. You'd have thought that I was the president himself uh, uh, with the statements that I make and, uh, and the kind of weight that is carried. Uh, but one thing it did do is it exposed and showed people what um, is in the hearts of people. But, you know, I had... Uh, uh, at least this question proposed on me um, at least two or three times um, here in the last few days. And, and they said, Pastor Bell, can you speak about the plight of the black people here in America? I mean, what do you think is going on as well as the economic situation? Uh, why is it that a lot of black people just don't seem to get it as a whole? Well, uh, first of all, number one, the world is in the shape that it's in. Uh, because those ancient Hebrew Israelites, those who are the descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, um, and, and, and uh, you know, they just didn't obey the law, statutes, and commandments. And as a result, uh, the people who was in charge to teach the nation's wisdom, um, you know, um, knowledge, uh, integrity, uh, love, honesty, you know, all these principles, uh, they didn't do it um, because they looked out and they saw the other nations. They wanted to be just like them. And as a result, um, the Most High put them in many different captivities, um, the Assyrian captivity, the Babylonian captivity, uh, the Medes and Persian captivity, the Greek captivity, the Roman captivity, um, the Arab captivity, the European captivity, out of which the Jewish uh, uh, nation of today, as you know them, are the ones who, who actually ran the uh, slave trade, descendants of those slave trades. And then the uh, uh, last captivity going to be in which is the American captivity. And, of course, we're seeing right now, that the majority of black people in the world have little, if any, understanding whatsoever at all of economics. I mean, if you can't understand economics, it's hard for you to just about understand anything. I mean, after all, when you take a people who have literally been uh, robbed of their nationality, robbed of their heritage, um, taken from their homeland, um, forced into slavery uh, to build the new world um, that, that we are over here in right now, um, had their identity stripped from them uh, to not even know who they are or where they come from. I mean, at most, the best they've been called is just black Africans. You know, you, you are African-American. That's, that's basically it. It's all identifying part. You know, their history has been stripped from them, taken from them. They really, truly don't know who they are. And so the reason why the most of the, the black folks today uh, are in economic poverty um, is, is because, you know, we've had to start from nothing. We didn't get a 40 acres and a mule that was promised to us. Uh, we never received any reparations for injustices that was done to us as a nation. And so, therefore, you know, here we are in the plight where we're at right now. So, then, you know, you, you'll get most of the people, which um, the white nations and the white people of today are feeling some of the same things that the uh, the blacks have felt here in America right now. We're seeing that there's a, 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 a new world order, a system, a religion, a religious system uh, whose our hierarchy is Satan himself. And most people don't want to hear this because they don't believe in this stuff. You know, they just believe that, you know, whatever is in their mind, that's what they have and that's what they believe. But you, you're dealing with a religious system right here, a new world order, uh, where the Illuminati is at the top of this thing, running this whole thing. And so we, we're looking at uh, the three phases of the new world order. Um, when the first part uh, of those who actually came over here in America 400 years ago, 500 years ago, you were dealing with monarchies and, and uh, 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 just the same way you were doing in Europe. And then the monarchies was placed basically by the Republic. And that's why we ended up with the Constitution. And we was called the Constitutional Republic. Now this Constitutional Republic is going to be replaced uh, by the New World Order system. And that's just the way they've had it planned. And that's the way that things are going right now, whether people understand uh, that or not. And so... If people don't understand um, uh, money, I mean, after all, Adam Weishaupt of the New World Order, uh, of the Illuminati, uh, he's the one that started all this thing. And, um, and, and of course, you, you got people uh, that have already made the statement that they said they don't care um, uh, who is ruling the politics or who may be the president or whatever it is. Just give me control of the money. 
I'll, I'll control all of that, the politics and everything. And that's what we saw here in America. We saw the America literally um, hijacked out, out from under us. So when they came over and they built this new world right here, you know, they built it on cheap labor. You know, slavery was a very lucrative business and it was a, a business that, that enriched a, a, a lot of people, which just happened to be a lot of white Jewish families. And, and as well as a lot of white American families that opted in to the system to actually um, um, uh, be a part of this particular um, slave trade that had this cheap labor. And so now we're seeing America have everything that it was built upon being stripped right from it by the New World Order because they're finished that they, what they've run here in this country. They don't ran this country about as best um, and, and milked it from about all they can get from it and stuff. And so when you got a bunch of people who are demanding what you'll call uh, higher wages and stuff, uh, and, and you're seeing these companies right here, people who claim to be Americans. And so they, you know, they're not going to deal with uh, the red tape of this wicked bureaucracy that we have in front of us today. Um, they have to deal with, um, you know, all these uh, wicked tax laws and legislation that's being passed and and being sued by Americans uh, uh, left and right who believe that they, uh, you know, for an honest wage, ten, fifteen dollars an hour, they want thirty, forty dollars an hour. So these companies have decided to just uproot and take ship. Now they didn't decide it a long time ago because the downfall in this country has been planned a long, long time ago. And so you're seeing an actual move of order that's taking place right now. And so if you get people who actually truly don't understand this move of order because they want to make this a race issue and stuff, and it's never been about racism. This is, has to do with the 1% of the people in this world ruling over the 99% of the world. They're going to make the people surf in millions and stuff. And of course, they control people by debt. And you know, uh, when you, you have such an easy way to get debt, I mean, such an easy way to obtain stuff, uh, you can get a house on debt, you can get a car on debt, you can even go buy food on debt, you can even buy toilet paper on debt. And, and, and uh, you know, you, you've got to be able to see that there's been something concerted, there's been something going on because um, the ones that are the ruling leader of the world, they're not in any debt whatsoever at all, but some way, somehow, they, through usury and, and through uh, cunning, wicked devices, have been able to uh, enrich themselves and enslave just about um, uh, ninety percent of the population in the world. You know, you can't get this kind of debt that can't be accounted for, as well as much less paid off, uh, without something going on behind the scenes. And so, when you get people like me that's raised up in other independent voices, uh, we're, we're trying to uh, wake up the hearts and the minds of people. And when you see me dealing with what you call controversial topics, I do it for one reason and one reason alone. Number one, I like to know those who are laboring uh, among me. I like to know those who are who are really truly understanding, who really truly are with me, because you know the system that we're involved in today, they're going to use psychology as well as reverse psychology, because they already know how the nature of man is going to respond and react, depending on what's going on of the hour of the day or whatever time. And when they've created a thing like problem reaction solution, which we're dealing with the Hegelian dialectic, most people are not even familiar with the Hegelian dialectic. Um, they've already done probed and see how you're going to respond and you're going to act. They already five or 10 steps ahead of us. And so when you see Pastor Dow come on here dealing with such what you will call controversial subjects and, and controversial arguments and everything, and so many of us take it to heart. Uh, we're, we're too busy being easily manipulated and controlled. And you can tell that the TV set, as well as the news media, have actually placed us in a position that they want us in and have dumbed us down to an unprecedented level that we have a, a, such a bizarre behavior that is deeply embedded in the collective subconscious of man that we don't know how to function uh, outside of certain trigger words hitting us and then our feelings and emotions go off. And then when we're test proven and tried, we go off the deep end and we lose the, the main thing that has caused anybody to ever come together and to be able to overthrow anything that may be coming in front of its way like we are facing right now, which is the New World Order, which is unity and relationship. But if I don't know you, who you are, and you don't know who I am, and if you're never tried, uh, uh, you, you're never going to be able to, to, to be able to go to the next level. You're never going to be able to understand or overcome uh, the situation that's coming before us because, hey, we're too easily manipulated. It's just a fact here in this country. Uh, it's not about race. It's not about race. It's not about uh, um, um, religion. It's not about what color uh, you may be or may not be or your nationality. This is about one new world order, what, which they're going to have, which is going to actually uh, control the government of the world, 
of the currency of the world, and then the last faction of the movement of this new world is to control the religion of the world or to stop all this thing they call religion is causing so much trouble. Uh, everybody have different opinions. Everybody have different dissents, um, you know, according to what they uh, truly want to believe or what things are. But we're looking at a lost generation that we're facing right now. Um, you got people right now, uh, ages um, uh, 16 to 24 years old, and the majority of them have college and have education and stuff, and they can't even go out and find a job right now because there's no jobs to be had. Um, we, we're seeing their parents lose their homes, and then we're watching this debt stack up in extraordinary amounts. And so and most of them go out even against the wisdom and knowledge that I try my best to give them. They'll go out and get in debt. And, and of course, there's, you know, they're making debt prisons now and there's no forgiveness of bankrupts in this country. And there's, you know, because they have passed laws to make sure that this debt get paid. And if not, it's going to throw you in jail and use you as a slave. And that's pretty much the reason why we see the jail populations loaded nowadays, because it's free labor. It's very cheap labor. Remember, it's all about slavery and it's all about economics. It's all about money and how people can make a profit. And unless you wake up, unless you understand what's going on in this system, in this time right now, you're going to be in bad shape. Sad part about it is that me and you, you go to these churches every single weekend and your pastor or your preacher, your teacher, your prophets or whoever you want to call them, your gurus, I don't care what you call them. None of them is informing you to, to this economic collapse that's taking place right now. None of them is informing you to the events that's really, truly transpiring and taking place here in the world today. And you're going to be in trouble. You're going to hurt. Your dinner table is going to be in trouble. And so we're in for a serious paradigm shift that most people are not going to be able to deal with. You're not going to be able to deal with when your children uh, have no food to eat. You're not going to be able to deal with, um, like a lot of these millionaires during the Bernie Madoff and these billionaires during the Ma Bernie Madoff scheme, when Bernie Madoff just flat out told us to everybody before he went to jail that the whole system is a Ponzi scheme. You've got all these people who, who was in charge of uh, billions of dollars in people's funds. I mean, uh, I mean, billions of dollars blowing their heads off because they don't know how to cope with this situation of owing all these people and knowing that people are going to be out there their necks and stuff. And when you have a responsibility as a father, you have a responsibility as a leader inside of your community. And, you know, the preachers, the real true pastors, we're supposed to be the pillars and the strength of the community. And, and of course, you know, I understand that, that you know, that the division and the divide is so great because people want to make it by minute issues rather than the issues that are on table at hand. It is just my hope um, that, that we can all wake up and, and really truly understand because, you know, I don't want to be in a situation um, to where I can't trust you. And you don't want to be in a situation where you can't trust me either. Uh, I guess the only thing we can really truly do is look at people's track record. You can hear their words, but pay more attention to what they're doing. Pay more attention to the fruit of their labors uh, because words would deceive you. You have to understand there are certain words that we hear. It triggers automatically a response in us. And unless we understand our feelings and emotions, we're going to miss it every single time. I hope I've been able to say something here uh, to encourage your hearts. I hope I've been able to say something here to at least get you thinking. Um, what do you think that I, I ought to be doing? Because some people ask me a question, Pastor, what do you think I ought to be doing right now? Well, I think that more than anything should get out of debt. I've been teaching that for years to just get out of debt because you don't want to be enslaved. You don't want to be a cert. You don't want to be in debt control. You don't want nobody controlling you because of, of, of debt and because they're going to pretty much tell you where you're going to go, what you're going to do, and that's all there is to it. And if not, they're just going to take you away from your family. Um, then you want to invest in sound assets, you know, gold and silver is money and nothing else. Um, because we're, we're seeing China who is just stacking up by the tons gold and because they're positioning themselves because Asia is going to be the market to where the new world order is going next. Uh, you got to open up your eyes and see what's going on. And, and you've got to be able to make these changes and you've got to make these changes real fast because we don't have the same amount of time that we used to have, um, up under our belt. Years ago, you've got to start storing food. You got to start getting clean water. You got to start making preparations. Uh, you need to start having mutual assistance groups. You need to start understanding who your friends are, who your enemies are. You need to test and prove and try everything in everybody's life, including your own, so you'll know them that labor among you so that when times do get tough and times do get rough, that you'll know that these people won't crack under pressure. I want y'all to be encouraged. Stay tuned if the Father leads you. I'm still going to continue to keep doing my job, helping the body of Christ. Y'all be encouraged. The King is coming.